and that is filling in so fast we can't get into the harbour. Two weeks ago, Captain Albert Melnichuk pulled into the Steveston Harbour and felt his commercial boat dragging on the channel floor. In the entrance, I was almost stuck. And uh, with the current running, it was probably running at five knots. It can be very, very dangerous. It took me a half an hour from there to there. He inched to the dock, avoiding disaster. You get very concerned. You got a crew of seven people on the boat and uh, you're worried about the boat and all the equipment, it's, um, it's very tense. More than 500 boats use this harbour, but it's getting harder and harder to get in and out because of a sediment hump at the mouth of the channel. I've been coming out of this, in and out of this harbour since 1973. And uh, this is the worst I have ever seen it, especially after the big floods last winter. It filled in so fast. The mouth hasn't been dredged in 14 years, and the non-profit harbour authority says the shallow waters could eventually lead to ships running aground. Our largest vessel that accesses the harbour, the Frosty, holds 128,000 litres of fuel. Can you imagine what that would mean for our marine life and our habitat here if um, they ran aground. So they're fishing for funding. The dredging job could cost up to $5 million. Historically, Ottawa, the province and the Port of Vancouver helped foot the bill, but haven't been on board over the past few years. The federal government and the port were responsible and they, they assumed responsibility for that dredging. Uh, that idea went by the wayside. City of Richmond says it's prepared to contribute its fair share as long as other levels of government follow suit. They seem to have taken themselves out of the picture, but that's not to say they won't get back in the picture when we give them a little bit of prompting. Lobby efforts that are underway and making progress, along with a push for a long-term plan that keeps these waters deep for years to come. John Hernandez, CBC News, Richmond.